I grew up in multicultural Birmingham, the proud daughter of a white mum and Sikh dad. Half my family are Sikh, so I hear about what's going on in that community. And there's something that's got everybody talking. You come to meet an underage Sikh girl. Sorry, sorry, you come to meet an underage Sikh girl. A Sikh community group has begun hunting down suspected abusers. The disgusting paedophiles. And it claims the alleged abuse is racially motivated. Would you have done the same to a Pakistani girl? No. So why are some Sikhs hunting suspected paedophiles? And could they be doing more harm than good? You've got a colourful past, haven't you? Do you think you're the best person to be doing this kind of, of work? Today, the man who's been confronting those suspected paedophiles is giving a talk at Smethwick Gurdwara. Hello, Deepa. I'm nice Suzanne. Be. How are you? Thanks for agreeing to meet me. No problem. Deepa Singh is the founder of Sikh Youth UK, a community group which works with victims of sexual grooming, some of them girls and some of them young women. He's arranged for one of them to tell me her story. We're calling her Kirin. She tells me she was 16 when an 18-year-old British Pakistani contacted her on Instagram. Did you know he was Muslim when you started dating him? Yeah, I did. And did that bother you in any way? No, I thought it would have been fine, but obviously it wasn't. Kirin's boyfriend told her that her family wouldn't approve of her dating a Muslim because of historic tensions between Muslims and Sikhs. When my family found out, he told me that my dad would kill me, like put me in like bin bags, cut me up and throw me in a canal. And that's when I started getting scared because I never really had a good relationship with my family. I would believe him over anything. So I ran away from home and that's when things started changing. He'd lock me up in rooms and force me to listen to Islamic prayers. He'd rape me and whenever he thought I was pregnant, He'd kick me in the stomach, strangle me, and it was just a cycle of torture. West Midlands Police confirm a 19-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of rape, but that after a thorough investigation was released without charge. Nonetheless, Deepa Singh believes Kiran's story helps to illustrate how Sikh girls are targeted, and he believes it's a big problem. He tells me that over the last 18 months, Sikh Youth UK has supported 88 victims of grooming. Majority of the cases that have come to us are on Sikh females, and when it is not a mature relationship, it is targeted and there is a religious racial motive. I would say about 90% and over that I've seen that specifically targeted Sikh girls are from the Pakistani Muslim community. There's evidence to report that when there's no evidence. What evidence have you got? There's so much evidence to support that for the last five decades, which we've produced in a report. This is That Report, produced by Sikh Youth UK itself. It includes newspaper reports spanning five decades, citing allegations of Muslim men targeting Sikh girls. The courts heard how the men met up with the 16 year old child from Leicester. This court case also gets a mention. The three admitted five counts of paying for sex with a child. But the report accepts there have been few such convictions blaming police inaction and a reluctance among Sikhs to report abuse. Not everyone is impressed. I'm meeting a former lecturer and youth worker who spent years working with British Pakistanis in Birmingham. Hi, good to meet you. Jahan Mahmood is himself of Pakistani heritage. I mean, there was one high-profile case that I read in the report itself, but I don't feel that there's enough evidence there to, to suggest that this is something that's just pinpointing Sikh girls. I feel that they're racialising a crime that is prevalent across society. Isn't that what was said back in Rochester when the, the girls there were ignored for so long? Aren't we risking letting girls being abused just because of cultural sensitivities? No, because I think it's happening across the board. These men will exploit anything that's available to them. So if it's Sikh, if it's a Bengali, if it's Muslim, if it's Pakistani, if it's an English girl, they do not care. Back at Smethik Gurdwara, I'm in the audience for Deepa's latest talk. He's been spreading Sikh Youth UK's controversial message at events like this up and down the country. People are radicalising young Sikh girls day and night. 
they are grooming them, they are sexually exploiting them. Is this not an attack on Sikhs or isn't it not? Is this racially motivated? Yes, it is. And Sikh Youth UK's message has clearly struck a chord with Britain's Sikh community. Yeah, this is where uh, the staff will be based day to day. They've managed to raise over £350,000 to build a new centre based in the West Midlands. And it won't just be used to support victims of grooming. You say you're recruiting intelligence officers. Now, what is that? Is that it's like a your own Sikh police force kind of thing? Not really. It's a, it would be like a private investigating team. And that team will be doing more of this. Sorry, I'm coming an underage Sikh girl. You said send naked pictures of yourself. You're asking a minor underage Sikh girl for indecent images. Deeper and his team have begun hunting suspected paedophiles. So far, they filmed two confrontations with men who believed they were meeting 15-year-old girls. You're disgusting paedophiles. I'm just targeting young Sikh girls at Sikh schools. I'm not forgiving no paedophiles. You come to meet an underage Sikh girl. I don't want your apology. People like you disgust me. One video reveals no evidence of a racial motive, but in the other, Sikh Youth UK single out a word used by the man in a text. What's pack mean? What's pack boy mean? Like a Pakistani boy, or I don't know, whichever. So one why would you use Pakistani? You know, well, if this isn't racially or religiously motivated. Would you have done the same to a Pakistani girl? No. No. So you targeted Sikh girl? No, I'm not, that's a targeting, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that's targeting a Sikh girl. I'm not targeting any, any girl. The guy was just, like, ultimately saying, it's because it's a Sikh girl. He just continued to do that, and I don't believe it was. I think that man would have exploited any Asian girl because she was closer to his culture. Really, the way to approach this is people get together who feel strongly about this, as opposed to say, well, it's only our girls that are big, because no, every single girl that's exploited is our girl. It's as simple as that. Is this not individual acts, though, rather than a a religion or a, somebody from a certain faith doing this? Uh, Just individual uh, acts by bad people? Definitely not. Um, uh, the, in some cases, maybe, but not uh, some I've seen where there is a racial motive, where there's messages saying, um, you raghead, that's a racial slur. Yeah, you're raghead's daughter, uh, you dirty sickeny. Why would they, on their Instagram profiles, change their names from Naveed to Nav Singh and things like that, which we found? Why would they see, try to uh, perceive themselves as Sikhs if there wasn't a religious or racial motive to it? But there are also concerns that Sikh Youth UK's tactics may get them into serious trouble. West Midlands Police have told us anyone who does this kind of vigilante work could be breaking the law. Does that worry you? I would always work within the law, definitely work with the authorities as much as we can. We wouldn't be hindering their investigation. In fact, we'll be supporting it. What about the fact that they say that you do risk disrupting criminal investigations and, and also compromising the safety of the vulnerable victims that you're trying to protect? No, definitely not. I disagree with that totally. I believe they're just being dismissive on that issue, 100%. I know we will always work within the law. We will always show sensitivity and support to the victims, their family members as well. This isn't the first time Sikh Youth UK has been in the spotlight. Two years ago, the former leader of the right-wing group, the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, attended one of their events. Afterwards, Sikh Youth UK thanked him for a tweet in which he wrote, Islam is targeting our children. You don't agree with the obviously the, I don't agree the Islam with, I, is targeting our children. No, I just to I, be clear. I, no, no, I, I I specifically will say Sikh girls are targeted, and uh, how I've explained all day are by Pakistani Muslim men. But it's a minority; it's not a majority. Because Islam is a whole religion, isn't it? We're I'm talking not against about no other faith. I've said this. I'm not just because his views on grooming may be similar does not mean that I'm against another faith. If you've got a colourful past, haven't you? You've, I've read a blog where you've been interviewed and you were talking about your previous convictions yep. for violence, drug use. Yep. And so what led you into this? And do you think you're the best person to be doing this kind of, of work? Uh, <coughs> So you're talking about my past, my past I'll openly speak about, which is I've had a crime and addiction past. Um, however, as Sikhs, the first thing we do is show compassion. The Sikhi saves lives. Sikhi saved my life. I made a turning point in my life We're here to help others because that's what Sikhs do. Yeah. 
Sikh Youth UK's views on grooming are broadly supported by Sikh Council UK, the Sikh Federation and the network of Sikh organisations. But there are concerns about their tactics. We support what the group is trying to do here. Nevertheless, we wouldn't advocate other people um, carry out the same sort of methods um, because of the inherent risks involved um, to both parties, to the people taking the videos and also the, uh, the alleged uh, perpetrators. But the good thing is in, in these videos, the uh, group involved have been working with the police and provided them with, with the evidence that they'd collated. If you're going to go out as vigilantes, if you're going to set up fake profiles, if you're going to entrap people, then that's not really a kind of sincere methodology. If we can find out the girls that have been exploited, those that are willing to come forward, if we can speak to them, we can find the culprits, then that's one way of actually approaching this. It's obvious Sikh Youth UK believe passionately in what they're doing, but their central message is deeply contentious. And when it comes to confronting suspected paedophiles, there remains the risk they could do more harm than good.